Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amir. So this one is last question of this year. Level of this question is AMI means 3 out of 5. This one is one of the easiest basic conceptual question which can come in any of your examination because it has a theorem. So I would say please pause the video, try to solve this question. I hope you have paused the video and question ko strike kiya hoga. In this question, we have angle ABD equal to angle CBE. This one is termed as isogonal property of a triangle. What do you mean by the isogonal property? When you have a two angles are the same, we can say this one is nothing but isogonal property of a triangle. Since this angle and this angle are same, so our property states that if we go for the AD from this line AD, into AE upon from this line CE into CD is nothing but AB square upon BC square. AB square upon BC square. We started from A, AD into AE upon CE into CD. Since we started from the A, this is called the AB square and the BC square. This one is termed as isogonal property of a triangle. So please make a note of this. So at the end of the year, I hope I am giving you something, a better concept, a better formula. I'll give you the proof of why and how. Anyway, we need to find the value of DE. Assume DE is nothing but X. AD given is 1. AB is nothing but 4 unit. BC is nothing but 3 unit and total AC is 5 unit. So we can say this angle line is nothing but 4 because 1 plus 4 is 5. So we can say the CE is nothing but since DC is 4, D is X, this one is nothing but 4 minus X. I hope it is okay. Now put the values in the isogonal property of triangle formula. AD is nothing but 1. AE is nothing but 1 plus X. Now the CE is nothing but 4 minus X and CD is nothing but 4 is equal to AB square is 16 upon BC square is nothing but 9. So this one is nothing but 9 plus 9X, 16, 6, 64 and 4, 256 minus 16, 64X. 64 comes here, that one is nothing but 73X is equal to 247. So x is equal to 247 divided by 73, that means option number B. So instead of this question is nothing but B with the help of isogonal property. Now I'm going to prove the isogonal property, but I would say please make a note of this video. Must write, this is not only for the right angle triangle, though ABC is a right angle at B, but there's no need to be a right angle. If you have two angles are same, then AD into AE upon C into CD is equal to AB square upon BC square isogonal property of a triangle. I hope it is okay. Now I'm going to prove how and why we are getting this formula. I hope it is okay. And this one is the end of the year. And I think you learned something. And the level is three out of five. Why? Because it has a property and a theorem. Now I'm going to prove why and how of this isogonal property. Now check the Sign formula. Isogonal property is nothing but a sign formula. So if you have a triangle, name them A, B, and C. So can we say AC upon AB is nothing but since we are working on the AC, that means the corresponding angle is B, sine ABC upon and the AB line. So we are working on the angle C, sine ACB. This one is called the sign formula. I hope it is okay. So in the same figure, if I draw a line AD, a CVN, and we work on these two lines, so can we say like AB upon, I'm just writing AB upon BD, can we say in this triangle AB upon BD, since you're working on this, this must be sine ADB upon, we are working on a BD, so corresponding angle is A sine b a d i hope it is okay similarly we can work on this line like the b d now the take the a d common so i'm writing a sine formula with the a d common line in the triangle this and triangle this so can i say a b this line upon a d this line 
into a now this triangle is nothing but AC upon AD. Can we say in this triangle, since we are working with the AB line, AB corresponding is nothing but angle D sine ADB upon AD corresponding is nothing but if we are working on the AD corresponding, the angle is B sine ABD into in this triangle AC corresponding, AC corresponding is the angle D sine ADC upon we are working on the AD corresponding is sine C sine ACD. I hope this one is okay. This one is a sine formula. This one is a sine formula in a triangle. This one is a sine formula in two triangles. So I'm going to use this sine formula in our question. So this one was our figure in which this angle is say x, this angle is say x, this angle common is y. Now use the sine formula in this figure. We have AD first work on the vertex a can we say that ad upon ab is one of the triangle ad upon ab is triangle one into we have ae upon ab if you're working on the ad line angle is nothing but x so we are working in the triangle adb first in the ad by ab we have ad line then this one should be the angle x sine abd upon ab line ab line means angle d adb sine adb i hope it is okay now the ae line ae line if we are working on the ae line we are working on the x plus y angle which is going to angle sine abe into sine abe upon we are working on the ab line in this triangle so this should be the angle sine aeb sine aeb i hope it is okay now we have a lot of angles are equal abd ABD is also equal to this angle sin x. So can we say the sin ABD is equal to sin CBE? Sin CBE. I hope it is okay. Because ABD is also x. This one is also x. ADB. ADB is equal to this. Because if this one is theta, this must be 180 minus theta. So sin of 180 minus theta is sin theta. So can we write sin ADB is equal to sin BDC? sin bdc i hope it is okay similarly abe abe is nothing but x plus y and even sin dbc is x plus y so we write sin dbc abe is x plus y dbc is x plus y what is aeb aeb is this say this one is alpha so this must be 180 minus alpha sin 180 minus alpha is the same so we can say this one is nothing but sin 180 minus alpha or sine b e c i hope it is okay we need to rearrange this value sine c b e c b e is this and b c e so that one is nothing but sine c b e the first numerator and the last numerator should write together sine b e c this one c b e and the sine d b c upon sin b d c sin c b e c b e is nothing but in front of because this one is sine ratio we can write the corresponding side ratio this one is c e sin b e c sin b e c is nothing but b c sin d b c sin d b c sin d b c the complete angle is the corresponding is nothing but a c d in triangle BDC upon sin BDC. Sin BDC is nothing but BC. So from here we can say AD into AE upon AB square equal to CE into CD upon BC square or we can say AD into AE upon CE into CD is nothing but AB square upon BC square. This one is isogonal property of a triangle. I hope this one is okay. And this one is nothing but the application of sine formula. And this one is quite famous. This into this is equal to AB square. CE into CD is nothing but corresponding to BC square. A sine property. You must note it down the proof as well as the concept or the direct formula. You can expect these question in your examination. You can say this one is one of the toughest question. That's why I tag AMI out of MEA. I am ready to go with all those new concepts, new formulae, new theorem. So, ready with the new questions in new year.
God bless you. Happy learning and very happy new year to all of you. Bye-bye.